<laughs> the flight is a great time for a nap, he says. Hey, Hurricane Lee right now is an 80 mile per hour Cat 1. It is expected to rapidly intensify in the coming days with an environment very conducive for development. Those thunderstorms going to be able to intensify and wrap around that center, making for a much more textbook like hurricane on the satellite and radar imagery in the next day or so. Possibly a major by tomorrow and then continuing to increase in intensity through the weekend, likely peaking at a borderline cat 4, cat 5. As we head into Sunday, you can see there are 155 mile per hour winds sustained. So uh, we'll see this thing fuel and fire up and then as it begins uh, its trek toward the west northwest still into early next week it'll likely kind of level off in the intensity before it pulls back up toward the north so i know the cone is kind of spooky right now but really folks the steering currents will favor that recurving motion as we head into early next week it's going to take some time to kind of put this thing on the brakes and then change direction i mean think about all those thunderstorms around that center of circulation so uh, at least it's staying to the north of the lesser antilles the caribbean islands the u.s and british virgin islands still going to continue to send some swell their way um, significant swell at that uh, as early as friday and then into the weekend now look at lee right here on this precipitable water map obviously the red colors are those intense thunderstorms. The blue air is that drier weather and we'll have this front over the southeast and that's kind of our saving grace to help steer this thing up toward the north. Now impacts from pretty much the Carolinas northward still really uh, kind of in the long range. There are seven plus days out so we'll have to stay vigilant and just make sure you're staying tuned to those updates because things still have to be tweaked and fine-tuned as we head into the next several days. But